Okay, here we are at Highlands TV and we're with Michael. How are you, Michael? Good, thanks. How are you, Mark? Mark and Oz live on the set four days before Faulty Towers opens. Two years ago, a sellout show. We're looking for the same thing. How are you feeling about it, Michael? Well, we've already sold out the first weekend and we've... 50, 50 plus percent full on the next two weekends, so that'll be gone within days, I think. So it'll be another sellout show. It's going to be a great success, great energy amongst the cast, as I'm sure you know. Absolutely. Um, I cannot wait for opening night. Good stuff. Now, listen, Oz, we're going to go upstairs. Michael's going to talk to a few of the cast members, so am I. Get with this show, ladies and gentlemen. It rocks and it rolls. Michael Alec for Highlands TV. We're down here backstage on the set of Faulty Towers. We're here with principal cast member Alex Rapp playing Sybil Faulty. Who else? Exactly. How are you, Alex? I'm very well and I'm very excited. This is our first dress rehearsal tonight, so we get the full effect of the, uh, of the very fetching uh, 70s tweed. And I've got my moustache. And the moustache. Yeah, yeah. Yes, a lot of fake hair in this show. Yeah, there is. Well, fake everything, really. Yeah, well, that's what acting is. I suppose it is. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Are you looking forward to opening night? I am. I am. It's uh, such a funny and uh, good fun show to be part of. I mean, we all know it's funny because everyone, obviously, is incredibly familiar with Faulty Towers. And I think there'll be a lot of people in the audience uh, just verbatim saying the, uh, the lines along with us. Uh, but being a part of it is hilarious. Now, Sybil, that's enough. Oh! All right. I see more intelligent creatures than you. Lying on their backs in the bottom of ponds. I've seen better organised creatures than you running around the wild yard with their pants cut on. Now, collect your things and get out. I never want to see you or any of your men in my hotel again. I suppose I had a, a bank of kind of a feeling of Sybil having watched repeats for years. Yeah. Um, so I already kind of knew who she was <laughs> before, you know, before doing it. Hello, 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 can anybody hear me? Have I ceased to exist? Sybil, 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 have I suddenly become invisible? Sybil, 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 can you see me? No. Oh well, good, I'll go and lay down. No, I won't, I'll go and get some guests. And to be, you know, involved in this sort of thing with the great people that you meet. Uh, it's <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Here we are with Kirsten Smith. How are you, Kirsten? I'm very well, thank you, Mark. She plays the very lovely part, the principal part of Polly in Faulty Towers of 2014, Kipper in the Courts and the Builders. Now listen, how did you get involved and why did you want to get involved in this? Well, I did audition for the last one, but I couldn't make it back for the callbacks and the last bit of the rehearsals, so um, I didn't end up doing it, and then I did a year of study, and then they put it on again, and I thought that I should. You may as well do it. Yeah. Now, how long have you, because I know you've been in Europe, and you were living in London as well, mm -hmm. right, and then... The Middle East. The Middle East, yeah. <laughs> so what brings you to the Highlands? I mean, how did that all happen? Uh, my parents brought me to the Highlands, actually. Um, they wanted to move to Australia, and we ended up moving to Kangaroo Valley. Kangaroo Valley. Mm -hmm. Did you go to school there? Uh, yeah, very briefly. <laughs> do you do your eye makeup yourself? I do, yes. Uh. Ow! He <laughs> Polly too, you see? Well, if dogs are allowed in the dining room, the staff should at least know how to handle them. Look at them up in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, What's it like putting up with the other actors on set? Uh, well, Mark can be very difficult. Um, he does ask me to do a lot of his makeup as well, so, you know. <laughs> He's a bit temperamental, but it's, you know, something you've got to deal with in the industry, so you get very used to it. You do. Michael Alec for Highlands TV. As you can see, I've now added on my moustache, because uh, we're about to start, aren't we, Mel? Yes, we are. In about <coughs> eight minutes, I think. Yeah, it's terrifying. <laughs> yes. Mel, you're backstage here, backstage crew at Faulty Towers. What? We know it's all mayhem on stage. Yes. What is it like behind the curtains? Well, it's complete mayhem. I mean, it's just like to, to create that look out the front takes a lot of work out the back to make sure everything's smooth out the front. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's um, it's a lot of fun, and it's a matter of getting it right every time, the same way every time, so that it makes it easier for the for the actors to get their job done. Do you have anything to say to the lovely people out there? A little message about what Faulty Towers is going to be like. All right. Well, if you haven't booked, um, make sure you book so you don't miss out. There sometimes there are shows that come along and you hear about them and when you get round to it it's too late so make sure that you go and see it because everybody who's been to see it to the last one two years ago are wrapped in it so they'll all be back so we hope we find some new audience members absolutely that's trybooking.com for your tickets and uh, you don't want to miss out that's right thank you for speaking to us Mel thanks a lot thanks a lot Michael
here we are with the director, the madman, the person that's responsible for all of the craziness, uh, Mr. Andrew Forbes. How are you, man? See life how I see it, mate. Now that's right. I'll have yeah. those back. You thanks. can. You can. Now listen, <laughs> Andrew. Um, we spoke about this when we met two years ago. But mm. what actually made you decide to put on such a hard production that sold out last time, being Faulty Towers? Because uh, I wanted to see you embarrass yourself on stage again. That's <laughs> what I'm going to do. She's going to be back at lunch time. Oh, no, he isn't. You understand? I'm a dead man. When I first heard that it was going on, there was a lot of obstacles. I mean, how did you go through that with your mind and putting it on? Look, I, I was really concerned that trying to do something that was really iconic was going to be a problem. That people were going to say, there's nobody who can do it as well as Cleese and Booth and That's right. all the others. So I thought, hmm, it's a bit of a worry. And it wasn't probably until we were actually uh, through that first weekend two years ago where you know, all of a sudden, over a space of about three days, the whole bloody thing sold out. That we were convinced we had a we had a winner. We're seeing in the in the Highlands, particularly with the the advent of, of more uh, more theatre groups, that that uh, that you know, there's a lot of talent coming out of the woodwork, and there's there's certainly some some fantastic professional talent down here. Uh, but uh, I think we've also also got some great amateur talent as well. The show starts the 15th of August and runs through the 30th, mm -hmm. and it's trybooking.com. Dot .au or just dot .com? Just dot .com. Dot .com. Yep. Get your tickets. It's selling out. It was a bestseller last time. Andrew, thanks very much for talking to us. It's thanks. a pleasure to work with you again. It's a pleasure to work with you. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to opening night, which is in four nights' time, ladies and gentlemen. So this show will air most probably on TVS Friday night. <coughs> so um, we'll get a good run-up. So nobody will see it because they'll all be here. That's right. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Can't stop laughing. This yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, great fun. Great fun all around.